And you're gonna hear me roar. Oh, 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 oh. Roar. <laughs> Welcome, guys. And Empire Spoiler Review, The Lion's Roar. What a great episode. It was so good. I love Empire. Now, this is a spoiler review, so I'm assuming you saw the episode. These are just my thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comic section. section. Basically, oh, man, with that interaction with Cookie and Lucius. No cookie until you get rid of Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. And, you know, Anika be looking Good in this episode. Anika looks great. I don't, I don't care if she's a fake-ass Halle Berry. I wanted, no, I don't blame Lucius for not, you know, telling Cookie, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get rid of her, and I want some of those cookies. Lies, though. Lucius is such a liar. He's a douchebag, but I don't know why I still like him. Probably because I saw him as a pimp in Hustle and Flow. So, uh, basically, in this episode, that's... What we got, you know, we got that interaction where, you know, that drama, the love triangle thing. You know, Anika knows that, of course, last episode that he's been sleeping with, well, slept with Cookie. And she tells him, listen, you got my dad involved in the whole medical stuff. You had him clear your, you know, clear this, to give a go that you're healthy. He better not go down with you or I'm going to come after your ass. That's Anika for you. And, you know, Anika hasn't really done anything really wrong if you think about it. I mean, she, of course, she's really... I mean, she does, like, love Lucius, but she loves kind of the Empire more, so to speak. But she hasn't really done anything wrong at this point. So she basically gives them an ultimatum. Either you dump Cookie, you, you know, crumble Cookie's little fairy tale, or and you make the announcement, we get married tomorrow, and... Uh, you make yeah we get married tomorrow but of course you make says how about next weekend because we have this you know party this all white party we need to go to and it's just not the right time next week for sure and of course she says you better make that announcement at the white party so I really like you know I think Anika, Anika doesn't he doesn't give no shit I mean I love she's definitely a great rival for Cookie I like the back and forth banner I mean I was I'm, I was waiting this whole episode. For Camille and Cookie to go at it, oh, ooh, that's a little taste, a little taste of that confrontation. So, other than that, we also had uh, Andre. I mean, Andre, this episode, you, uh, he's such an asshole. He is. He he's an asshole. But I feel for him too. You know, I feel for him after that flashback and seeing what he did for his father. I, I really feel for Andre. He but pimping his wife out to a board member. To, you know, to be able to basically get, uh, be in charge of Empire if his dad does fall ill. You know, they have to vote for it. Man, it's, uh, that's pretty bad. And even, I felt bad for the wife. I don't even remember her name because she's not that relevant of a character. So, but she did get a little bit, you know, a little bit of shine in here. She, she was drinking a lot. She pretty much told Andre she wasn't, she wasn't doing it no more. She hated being pimped out like that, even though she's a schemer as well. So, and then, uh, no, it was okay, though. Andre got the, pretty much got the board member to say yes anyway. But, yeah, Andre, man, what the hell? What, what the hell, bro? And, of course, Cookie wants to do this legacy album, this legacy documentary. So this new guy comes in. It's going to document the whole family and their making of this album. Jamal's taking a liking to him. Uh, they have this nice conversation, the dinner. We also have, and then I think what's what was interesting, really interesting about this episode was Cookie's relationship with Hakeem. We know it's a dysfunctional relationship. We know Hakeem has mommy issues, but he's really, really came around, and he's I, he's starting to love his mother. He even told Camille, "I don't want to call you mama. You know what I mean? I don't want to call you ma. I don't want. I got a mama. I don't want to call you ma." Camille's like, "What, boy?" Call me mama. So, yeah. I mean, and then, of course, uh, him and Jamal are working on that that single, Beautiful. And Jamal ends up being the last, you know, chorus. But Camille wasn't having that. Camille wasn't having that. Yoko Ono wasn't having that shit. So she says, Hakeem, you better get that ending. You know, better get that ending, you know, last voice in. Because the last is the best. Which I kind of disagree a little bit. I mean, you, whoever goes hard is the best. Uh, so Cookie and Hakeem have an understanding. Like Hakeem tells Cookie, 
that he thinks he should be in the last course of that song. And then, you know, Tookie agrees, but she, she says she's going to run it with Jamal and Lucius. Boy, did I love that. That it was touch. I mean, there's a lot of great family moments in this episode. I really like how they're all in the studio. They're like, come on, Ma, do the chorus. Here, sing the hook, sing the hook. And I was, I was ready to, I was like sitting down, like, push that shit out. Push that shit in. You know, it's hot out here. You know, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that hustle and flow. So, um, yeah, I really loved that mo- those moments. It was definitely the family. And, of course, you know, it's, all, it's, never, it's not going to be all fine and dandy because we know something's going to happen that creates conflict. First thing, the things that really happened that was really messed up in this episode, I got to start with pretty much the, I guess I'll go the cookie no, I'll go to Andre first. Andre's situation was so jacked up because they did vote to see uh, if Andre was going to take over, if Lucius was ever not able to take, you know, keep going with Empire. And, you know, you got that Sons of Anarchy kind of, you know, table. You got the Sons of Anarchy going type of vote like, yay, nay, nay, yay, nay, yay. And then it gets to Lucius, and Lucius... And I don't know. I mean, I got that all wrong. It's like nay, nay, and then yay, whatever. He gets to Lucius, and he says nay. And everybody is surprised. I mean, that was such a jacked up moment. Even though, you know, Andre's such a douchebag, and he's a schemer, and he almost got his brother killed. Just seeing his dad say nay and look his at, you know, look at him like, you ain't getting it. It's, it, it's really messed up. Because Andre does feel like he is the outcast because he doesn't have the talent but I think there's more to that I think uh, my brother pointed out that Lucius knows that he is the type that schemes and really tries to get what he wants also this what else was messed up was basically Lucius telling you know telling Cookie that he was going to get with her and then at the day of the white party saying listen that big announcement Onika said telling everybody yeah us that's not going to work that was a moment of weakness I'm staying with Anika I'm not leaving her for you and then you know cookie did her cookie thing and went up to nika and say oh girl nice dress oh yeah i slept with him uh nika goes yeah i know no i slept with him yesterday so i don't think you know about that boom bombshell so yeah i mean that i mean that was pretty messed up that you know lucius stopped pretty much saying to cookie it ain't gonna work and then cookie telling anika and oh man what a mess what a conflict and then we finally get to Hakeem taking Camille to the white party. What I was waiting for this moment, because those two were gonna go at it. And of course, you know, Tookie goes at it and like, oh, I get it. And she she pointed out, she straight out said it like we were saying it. You got mommy issues, and you know, you Yoko Ono, oh you you're making the big shots. Well, he's gonna play with you for a little bit, and then he's gonna move on. <laughs> you gotta love Cookie for her honesty, right? You gotta love her for her honesty. She tells it like it is. Even though sometimes she's not right. Where's Portia though? Where was Portia at? And then, you know, we saw Jamal. You know, Jamal's about to do this song, Beautiful. He talks to his father, Lucius. Lucius says, you know, with all the drama, with all the stuff that's crumbling down, the music, that's that's what lives forever. That's what people dance to. That's your legacy. So Jamal's like, yeah, yeah, you know what? I got I got a song. I, I got a little remake of Beautiful. So he goes down there, sings the single Beautiful. Everybody's loving it. Everybody's jamming. You know, all the brothers. Andre's looking from afar, still pissed off. Boy. <laughs> what a moment, right? What a moment. Like, the song's going, and then he's like, oh, I could, like, I think it was like, I, I could love you like a man to man. Like, I love you like, because I love you. Man wants to love a man, or something like that. He pretty much comes out during the whole song, and he says it over and over again. And you see Lucius's face. You see the flash, great use of the flashback and showing everybody his, the Jamal come out party. I mean, it was, it was a great scene. And Lucius was Pissed. He was pissed. I really liked Vernon. We show, I think it's Vernon or Vernon or whatever. Vernon, and we see him, and he's like crying. He's just like, yeah. I was like, I thought that guy was like kind of trying to screw up the whole, screw the whole family over. But he's really just trying to screw Lucius over. But yeah, it was great seeing him cry and say, you know what? That a boy. That a boy. That a boy, Jamal. 
Got a boy. So Jamal, you know, and then we saw what was great about Jamal and like the family moment thing is he was spending time with his daughter after the advice of the, the director who was filming all the, uh, I forgot his name, but filming the whole family and their album making. So that was great to see Jamal really, you know, sing a wee my way, a wee my way, a wee moment to his daughter. That was a nice, cute scene. Cute kid, cute kid. Uh, also, Man, there was just a lot of great moments in here. And then after that, like Lucius was just pissed. He was just like wandering. He was going in his, you know, in his building. He was just like everybody was talking about Jamal coming out. I really loved the scene with Hakeem and Jamal. You, the brotherly love with these two characters is great. I thought it was gonna the hatred was gonna last a little longer, but you can see that Hakeem he doesn't want to hate his brother, and Jamal doesn't want to hate his brother as well. They always seem to find a way to you know. Set aside their differences and say, listen, man, I got you. You're the bravest man I know for coming out. So I really love that moment. And, I, oh, man. Yeah, Lucius, you know, Lucius talking to Cookie and saying, "I, you know, every, you know, Cookie telling him, listen, everybody's fine. He came out and I'm still Cookie. You're still Lucius. Everybody don't give a damn. But Lucius, you know, looking at it and saying, but it's me. I give a damn. I give a damn. And, you know, Lucius is a little bit prejudiced, too. I mean, when he straight up told Andre as well, like, as long as you have, you can have a bunch of white women, that white woman that you brought in, you're not family. So what the hell is up with that? Like, he doesn't like Andre because, you know, he's not black enough or something? I mean, insane. It's just a stupid reason for Lucius to hate Andre. But, like my brother was pointing out, maybe because he knows that he is a schemer and he really does hurt all the people that is in his family so you could take it either way he could either be prejudiced or he could or kind of prejudiced racist he could be racist or he could be basically you know knowing what the character of andre is now so i mean i still feel bad for andre especially when he was sitting down i thought he was going to pull the trigger i thought he had a clip in there i guess he didn't have the clip when he was about to kill himself, that would have been a crazy moment if Andre would have offed himself. I mean, it feel I feel bad. I want I, I kind of wanted to see Andre like start you know just rhyming and just being better than both his brothers in that studio. That would have been crazy. Uh, overall, and then we also have Anika going to see Billy or something like that. I don't know what's that all about. I didn't really check the uh, next previous for the next episode as well. Uh, that's a, that's a oh, lot, lot to cover, guys. Lot to cover, guys. I mean, great episode, lot of drama, lot of conflict, a big moment. You know, we need you know Anika pretty much not seeing Lucius no more. She's pissed. I mean, it was just great, great family moments. It was great, touchy moments. I love the last scene where we saw Cookie's flashback, where she's in a prison cell. She's seen beautiful, and that. That shot, you know, that lingering shot just coming from the cell and going through the hallway of all the cells and her scene. I mean, damn, that's that's some great stuff. That's why Empire is doing as good as it is. Ah, man, I absolutely, I love the show. I think the show is one of the best show, newer shows right now. I mean, is it better than Better Call Saul? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm super entertained. I mean, Better Call Saul is better writing and Maybe better acting. I don't know. I don't know. It's oh, I mean, I'm so entertained with this show. I mean, I'm always looking forward every week. So and better call Saul too. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I gotta. I gotta think about that one. So that's it. Thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe. Please like. Tell me your thoughts on this episode. What you thought uh, of it and Jamal's coming out party. That's it's, that's the big big moment. There's a lot of big moments. So thank you guys for listening. And I'm out. See you.